discussion for the momentum transfer. So in having that momentum transfer, the concept of viscosity is very important. Okay, in this point in time, we need to know that this viscosity is the fluid resistance to flow. Meaning to say this is the opposing force. The more it has an opposing force or so resistance for the fluid to flow, then that is very viscous. Okay? Like, like so viscosity. So we have absolute and dynamic viscosity. So what do we mean by this? Okay, dynamic. Okay, dynamic and absolute viscosity. Okay? Viscosity. Okay, this one. Dynamic and absolute viscosity. If we speak about dynamic and absolute viscosity class, is that that is an internal, okay, fluid's resistance to flow, meaning that it's internal, inherent, not on the motion resistance, okay? Like that. Because if we talk about the motion resistance of a fluid, that is a measure of the tangential force, okay, for the movement of or motion of one plane to another, okay, a fluid, something like that, with a specific velocity, that is really the dynamic viscosity. Oh no, kinematic viscosity. I'm confused with the kinematic and dynam dynamic because this kinematic is a combination of kinetic energy, okay, and kinematic energy and dynamic. Kinetic energy and dynamic energy energy that's a kinematic viscosity okay so the one made us confused here is that dynamic absolute absolute viscosity supposedly it is not dynamic right because it's still internal uh, but never mind that's really the theory behind that absolute viscosity is the same as dynamic viscosity actually kinematic viscosity is tangential force over area so we need to say it's just like a pressure something like that right okay so what's the difference for this okay the kinet kinematic viscosity is specifically for the momentum transfer okay this will not be applied for the heat transfer and the mass transfer okay because kinematic viscosity is really involving the changes in velocity, something like that, okay? From uh, high velocity molecules to lower velocity molecules, okay? Now, this kinematic viscosity, dynamic absolute viscosity, are transport property transport properties or transport quantities okay like this transport properties or transport quantities are the kinematic viscosity dynamic viscosity and absolute viscosity now there's a difference for this two even though these are all resistance of fluid to flow because the formula of kinematic viscosity we denote that as this like that letter b where wings <laughs> right and left wings something like that is equal to the dynamic and absolute viscosity which is the mu micro mu okay over the density okay very clear right now if it is really the kinematic viscosity is equals to the dynamic and absolute viscosity divided by density. Okay, now in our formula for the momentum transfer, we use the mu there as our viscosity. Okay, that's why in the formula of the momentum transfer, there's a density there. Okay, sometimes you will wonder, uh, oh my gosh. There's a viscosity 
okay? If you try to be, not to be specific, we think only as viscosity alone, we will not identify that as a kinematic or dynamic or absolute. So we can say immediately this is equal. No, it's not. Because the kinematic viscosity is equal to dynamic absolute viscosity divided by the density. Okay, in the momentum transfer pala siya. Okay. Ganon. It's not the kinematic, it's the absolute viscosity and dynamic viscosity are being considered there. Okay? I will show you. Momentum transfer. Okay? That is the momentum flux or rho. Ganon, ganon. Okay? Rho. It could be a YZ. Don't confuse with the YZ because it's only the, the vertical axis, the X axis, and ganon. So, just only an identification because the the movement of the fluid is very important here. Okay? There's an issue with the movement, upward, downward, vertical, horizontal, like that. So, let's just put it this way. Uh, rho, rho is simply the momentum flux, rho, YX, or YZ. Other books also saying that X is also Z. It depends on your drawing, really. Okay, you will sometimes others are putting Z in the X axis. Sometimes other posting will pu putting also X really in the X axis. So we cannot. Sometimes we need to understand what they refer to. Okay, because other also books the Z is the orientation, uh, orientation movement, and that is a uh, uh, like this a tangential. Okay, like a 3D position in the computer. There's an Y, there's an X, and there's a diagonal. The Z here is the diagonal, supposedly. That's the, the, the correct way of discussion. But other books and other reference telling that the Z is also the y, uh, X axis, so we cannot talk about it. That's their discussion, but all we have to do is to analyze that th that is just a representation for the meantime. Okay, but the correct one is letter is really X because that's in the horizontal position. That should be uh, X, okay, not Z. Okay, because the Z is the diagonal one in the orientation of the 3D animation. The diagonal is the Z position. The vertical is the Y, and the horizontal is the X axis. So it moves like that, a 3D motion, a 3D movement in animation. That's the principle there in the you know in the computer technology or you know technology innovation but here going back to the you know momentum flux let's say ano na lang siya uh, yx subscript yx okay raw subscript subscript yx okay is equal to take note okay this is really the absolute and dynamic viscosity mu okay times the delta change in the momentum okay momentum meaning the velocity and the mass okay if you remember physics right there's a lot of problems how to compute the mass and the velocity of a car going from first point to second point so calculate the momentum of the first car second car and third car ganun -ganun. Okay, but in this case, the delta change in momentum, we are not really concerned to the mass of an object. Okay, assuming that the mass of the fluid will just be the same from point A, point B, point C, point D, point E. Okay, so it's gonna be, ano na lang siya, velocity. Delta change in velocity, okay, over... dt time because this is at the rate okay like that see okay so uh, momentum flux okay i will write that to make it easier momentum flux or shear stress oh my gosh ang layo di ba ang flux naging stress oh shear stress Okay, like that is equals to mu, which is the absolute viscosity or dynamic viscosity times the delta change of velocity changes, okay, the gradient, velocity gradient, u over dt. Okay, 
Now, the mu here is the absolute viscosity. Absolute viscosity is equals to the kinematic viscosity times the density. So, let's substitute this velocity density times kinematic viscosity to this equation. That's why we can arrive that as momentum flux or shear stress equals to okay kinematic viscosity okay kinematic viscosity times density times delta change of velocity over d time dt over t like that okay that one now this is the formula of the momentum transfer so the, the viscosity here is the kinematic viscosity that's what i'm trying to point out be careful because the dynamic viscosity and absolute viscosity okay have almost the same unit okay like that okay so there's a density here huh? in the formula there's a density since we assume also not really assuming the density will not change also because there's only one substance will go into the pipeline let's say water there's no issue with the changes in density also right okay so we will cancel that automatically what's left is the kinematic viscosity and it's just the same with the uh you know absolute viscosity in the first equation that's why the students will be confused also okay including me okay I'm confused also at first for this okay now the kinematic viscosity the unit will be that will be your identification the unit already if you don't know how if you don't know how to interpret the theory regarding a kinematic viscosity and absolute viscosity then you have to know the unit okay in problem solving so that you can justify ah this is gonna be the this is gonna be the correct viscosity that i will be able to use okay because the kinematic viscosity is equals to the length raised to the power two over time Mm. Kinematic viscosity is equal to length versus the power to over time. So that is square meter negative second. Oh, on. Square meter second and kinematic viscosity because of length versus the power to over time. Transpose time into the numerator, it will become negative. So square meter as negative. Now, the problem also not giving this kind of unit okay not giving this kind of unit in the problem solving they will use the unit of viscosity that is the absolute viscosity and now the student will substitute directly the absolute viscosity unit to this momentum transfer and that will become wrong okay because there are two types of viscosity the kinematic viscosity and the absolute viscosity or the dynamic viscosity the units have differences though have common but they have differences now if you will substitute that directly the absolute viscosity to the kinematic viscosity in your momentum transformation dealing with the velocity changes now you will become wrong immediately okay so that's the trick of some problems it will give you the incorrect viscosity and then you, you need to convert that to kinematic viscosity first so that you will put that there in the equation because the student will think viscosity is just the same all viscosity okay just like for example molar density is not the same as the density itself alone because this molar density is taking into account the molecular weight malom okay for example we have a substance uh you know chlorine chlorine has a density at 30 degrees celsius specific density at 30 degrees celsius okay it has a density like that and we have also the molar density so if you talk about molar density that's referring more or less to that molecular weight which is grams per mole that's why it's called molar density and it's in there you can compute your mass because you cannot substitute that directly to the density is equal to mass over volume because that is molar density okay not density alone okay so that's the technique also there so unless it is not specified it's not a molar density then bingo use the ordinary density is equal to mass over volume 
But if stated molar density problem or molar mass problem, it deals really with a stoichiometric relationship between the number of atoms in the chemical reactions, in the chemical calculations. If it involves molar mass, molar density, blah, 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 so and so. And it really involves first to compute or to determine the atomic weight or the molecular weight of each element or compounds in the reactants and also in the products to solve for what is being required in the stoichiometric relationship in a chemical reaction or something like that. So it's the same also here in momentum thrust. So be careful. Okay? Like that. Okay, going back. So this is our uh, uh, principle behind. Okay, now, if I have charotoy, talaga, if I have the fluid, uh, for example, uh, sa mga fluid akong gusto, okay? uh, butanol, charot, <laughs> butane, okay, uh, four atoms of carbon, right, butane, so if I will, I will put butane in the feed inlet of a uh, uh, pipeline, for example, only, and it will flow there, okay, like that, so I have here the illustration, like this, I have the base, okay, the base, like this, Okay, like this. This is the base, and then this is the butanol. So I have to put uh, a barrier for this situation. Gan ganon. This is the barrier. I will put the barrier. So the but butanol will flow there. Okay, the arrow will be going there. They're gonna on. Okay, like this. Let's say there are layers, layers of butanol will go there. Okay, here, like that. They're gonna on. Okay. At first, pareho rasha. The layers will just be the same. The layer of butanol fluid will just be the same at first, initially straight right look at the arrows okay now when it encounter the, the the wall the black okay that it's black b uh, b l o c key okay now the velocity changes okay we have now velocity profile Charot. okay velocity profile meaning different velocities okay so it's gonna be like this if this is our, let's say U is the velocity, okay? Because other books also putting U as a velocity, and then V is just velocity. Sometimes, you know, it really confused. Okay, but me, I preferred U is the velocity U. Because V is confusing the volume, okay? So U is equals to velocity, okay? So, the U is the velocity, meaning to say, this will go in a horizontal motion and horizontal movement going there. So this is the U velocity profile going there. Okay, not vertical, ha? So let's see, gano'n, gano'n. Okay, here. Okay. Gano'n, gano'n. Follow lang dyan ang each layer niya. Okay. Okay. Now, connect the points of this uh this is u right u velocity let's say this one is u uh one u two u three u four and u five final u one initial and on so these are the velocities horizontal velocities u one u two u three u four okay and this is our Y axis, and let's just put this as Z na lang. Oh, X na lang yun talaga siya. Okay, dito sa, ano, pwede maglibog. Okay, X ang horizontal axis. Okay, X. Now, guys, okay, X axis here will be just equal to the U. 
because the velocity is running in the horizontal position, so u is just equals to x. Okay? This will be helpful, guys, because to compute for the slope. Okay? Slope. Okay? Like that. So, this will now become du, okay? The velocity profile of u, because it's, it's, it's a du, like this. And we have also the dy. Okay. Okay, du and dy. Okay. Du and dy. Why? Because it's just the same with dx, dy. So it's also du, dy. Okay. We just have to put another letter for the velocity because that's velocity it's not the distance covered okay correct me if i'm wrong if we let x as a horizontal distance okay and y is a vertical distance and that we are not particular for the distance covered with this butanol particle okay we are concerned with the velocity and let u as our velocity and it travels on the x-axis, meaning to say it's just the same with the x. So, du and dx is just equal. Okay? That's, that's why we need to put dx, dy, or we can say du, dy. Ganan. dx, dy, or du, dy. Okay? So, the change in velocity profile because the numerator is u here dy d du dy okay then on okay du dy this one okay now we need to connect the the heads of this velocity the arrow so connect this one then on connect mm. So we establish a curve. Okay? We establish a curve. Okay? You see that? We establish a curve. And our curve is pointing upward. Okay. If it's pointing upward, meaning to say this is really a fluid. Okay? A liquid, something like that. Okay? <clears throat> Sorry. And then we need to have the slope na ha. So slope. Kanisha slope. Okay? Slope. Ang slope atong i mark the dot of the arrow like this. We make it big so that it's very easy to put the slope. Okay? Slope. Slope. Like this. So in the first velocity. Let's say u1, but before that, there is also velocity zero, not yet moving. I forgot to stress out. If the velocity is not yet moving and it, it is blocked by the you know surface of the floor, uh, not really a floor, it's in a, you know, any kind of pipeline wall, inner wall, okay? The v is zero here, okay? I forgot that this is what we call as a no slip boundary, okay, no slip boundary region okay no slip boundary region okay in a no slip boundary region the velocity one oh no zero sorry at zero time and shot so u zero okay of course zero ang imong velocity so this is what we call no slip boundary okay like that. So, in the no slip boundary, when the velocity is, is zero, there is a very high slope. Okay, we project the slope here. This is the slope. Okay, dy, no, dx, dy, sorry, or du, dy. Here also the slope like this. Du, dy. Also here. Okay, du, dy, 
here also d u d y here also d u d y until the last d u d y okay our d u d y or the delta change of the velocity over the y okay if we connect the plots okay on the arrows it will become our slope this d u d f d y is our uh, slope okay forget the dx dy now d u d y na ta i just want to emphasize that y d u d y na naman tay x right okay so it's gonna be like that so there is more slope in the lower part of the y axis y because the more the velocity is lesser or zero the more has a high slope or the delta change in the velocity and the y or slope so the shear stress is very very high okay like that okay so shear stress talaga <laughs> okay so shear stress Magraph taglain, shear stress equals to rho, and then we have here the x. Okay, x. Ganon. So try to look that situation. The more the the velocity decreases, in which zero, the more it has a high slope d u d y, right? Okay, so the more it has a higher slope, it has a higher shear stress. Okay, it has a higher shear stress because the shear stress is directly proportional to the viscosity in which that is the absolute viscosity in which we emphasize it here. Okay, here, here. Okay, in which the density is not yet covered, only the absolute density and the dynamic density. Okay, like that. So, the more viscous in the lower part, okay, at velocity zero, it is very viscous. The fluid, for example, butanol is very viscous because it has a higher slope du over dy. So, the more it has a higher slope, it has a high shear stress also and momentum flux. So it's very viscous at a velocity lesser. And, it, and it's going up, our shear stress will be lesser and it's not viscous very much. At it goes higher velocity, go to V or U5 at the top. Okay, like that. So the higher directional momentum, in short, is in the top because there's a high velocity there okay if the velocity is high of course the momentum for that is very high i'm not talking for the flux only the momentum directional movement or the transfer okay the directional momentum transfer is very high because the velocity at u5 is very high also okay so it needs a shear stress lesser compared to the velocity which is equal to zero near the uh, surface of the pipeline which is this one horizontal so let this is the no slip boundary so in this case the fluid of this butanol will never slip that's why it's called no slip boundary so it's zero okay the more it's zero it will not move of course you're it's very viscous because it's higher fluid resistance it will not move if it has a higher fluid resistance which is the viscosity so we need to say the viscosity at the bottom part is very high Okay, and the shear stress also is very high because it's directly proportional with each other. Okay, the viscosity and the shear stress. Okay, that's very clear. Okay, that's the theory behind for that. Okay, now if we keep, uh, if we put another block or wall somewhere along here, okay, oh, let's plot first the shear stress. Okay, shear stress. Okay, here. Okay, so it's gonna be like that. And this is following the ano pala siya, uh, Newtonian fluid. Oh my gosh, grabe na. So Newtonian fluid, we can distinguish that one. Huh? For example, if the examination was said, which of the following has the higher Newtonian 
uh, which is the following is an Newtonian flow wave. Go on. So we can uh, tell that through this graphical representation by plotting the values. So the more you can obtain a linear straight equation that is a very Newtonian flow wave, linear going upside. Then go on. Okay, Newtonian na nasa flow wave. Okay, Newtonian uh, flow wave. This is the viscosity here. Okay, viscosity like this. If you obtain here, here, if you obtain a straight line equation uh, graph that is Newtonian flow wave. Okay. Okay, it's very clear, huh? Okay. You do not because you have also non-Newtonian flow wave. Okay. After that one. Okay. Shear stress also here and the x-axis also here. It's the same story. All you have to do is to plot. Okay. Plotting one by one, you can obtain that one like that. Or the same like this. Okay. But a little bit more. But the point it is going, pointing upward in the right. Right, Payan? Okay. So it goes up. Okay. Like that. So the higher shear stress at the bottom like that and the velocity will be higher like that okay so this is all about the you know the concept of viscosity okay now if you you put again a, a obstruction a wall in your flow you can create also another like this and the velocity will become more higher and then under such time we can uh, really go to the region where it doesn't attain already the viscous region okay so if that is the case we will need to plot here again kakuman drawing oi basta okay we have the wall first wall here in point one again we need to have another point two wall here oh. one wall point one second wall point two again the same story but the uh, the point here, it travels uh, a very high velocity already, the U1, U2, U3, U4, U5. And then you will connect topmost velocity. You can obtain a, like this, a graph. Okay. Above this graph, can you akong butang sa taas? So that is an envisaged region. Okay. In which the shear stress, okay, and the viscosity is irrelevant already. Okay, like that. This is in this case class that the Bernoulli equation will be used most of the time. Because Bernoulli will be applicable to most of the time when it is uh, having a zero viscosity and shear stress is zero. Remember also, the formula of Bernoulli theory doesn't involve viscosity. That's the main reason because it's already attaining on the region in this region. Meaning the shear stress is zero here in the graph, okay, the shear stress zero and the viscosity is irrelevant, meaning negligible, okay. So, the Bernoulli theorem will be used, diba? P2 minus P1, density like that, velocity 1, there's no involvement of the viscosity there because the shear stress and the velocity, oh no, the shear stress and the viscosity are zero. That's invisible. I N V I S C I D. Invisible region. Okay, we have also the viscous region. Okay, invisible region. So it's the case that the Bernoulli theorem will be applied. Bernoulli equation for fluid flow, fluid mechanics or the for momentum, heat transfer. Ganon siya. Okay. So I don't have to, to do everything because walang katapusan ito. Okay, another block, another wall, block number three. Okay, and then the velocity will go there. And in the same story, you have to plot that one, then ganon. And then you can still obtain an invisible region after that one. Okay? Like that. Okay, now let's go back to the viscosity. Okay? Diba, niingon ko, viscosity is the flow is resistance to flow. Okay? Now, and then, if we mean about viscosity, okay, we can easily determine the Reynolds number, right? Because the Reynolds number identification whether our flow is turbulent, laminar, or transition stage. Okay? Now, okay, what is the unit of 
absolute viscosity and dynamic viscosity. We know that the unit of kinematic viscosity is new no, meter squared times s to negative 1 because of the formula length squared over time. This will be uh, the same with the mass transfer and the heat transfer. Square, uh, meter square second negative. Same. Because that's all diffusivity mentioned. Okay? But in case of the momentum transfer is a little bit uh, special. Okay? Now. Okay, when the problem states that it is a centipois, my gosh, one centipois, centipois or poise is a unit of absolute viscosity and dynamic viscosity. It's not a unit of the kinematic viscosity. Okay, so do not equate that one. Now, if the problem is having the unit of centipois, then you have to convert that first to square meter to second negative so that you can substitute the to your uh, momentum transfer formula, okay? Especially to the fact that the problem will not state kinematic, absolute, and dynamic, okay? They will never say, the dynamic viscosity, it's always stating the viscosity or the unit alone in the problem solving. So it's, your, it's in you who will distinguish, ah, this is dynamic, oh, this is absolute, because this really matters in the, before you substitute, in the momentum transfer or in the equation that you will be able to use that uh, viscosity is really an issue especially the Reynolds number okay okay Reynolds number now Reynolds number is in connection with Bernoulli's theorem again and again and again because we need to predict the laminar flow because Bernoulli's theorem is applicable most of the time in laminar flow then how can we know that it's the laminar flow then how can we use the Bernoulli theorem Okay, so that's why we need to solve first sometimes the Bernoulli's theorem, okay, or the, the Reynolds number, if given the Reynolds number, so that we can use that in our Bernoulli equation. Okay, now class, if there's no streamline from point 0.1 to point 0.2, meaning there's no change in diameter, okay, because the... The concept here, the Bernoulli is applicable only in streamline, meaning there's a changes in the diameter in the first point to the second point. Now, if it is just equal, then do not apply also the Bernoulli theorem continuity law, okay? Because this is only for streamline, meaning to say there's a curve reducing the diameter, okay? That's why we need to equate the point one and point two. But if it is just the same, the diameter 1, diameter 2, they do not apply that one also uh, Bernoulli theorem for fluid dynamics or momentum transfer. That's also the limitation. Okay? Just uh, focus first if there's changes in diameter. Okay? An area. So, that's it. That's Bernoulli na talaga siya. Okay? Not too much with the viscosity. Huh? Okay? Because the formula of Bernoulli has no viscosity. Okay? Unless... The Reynolds number is given in the problem. You have to substitute the viscosity in that particular uh, equation. Okay? Like that. So, Reynolds number is equals to density times the length. Okay? The length and then times the velocity over the C. This viscosity is now kinematic viscosity. Uh, let's investigate first. I forgot also. See? That's why I told you. So, density times length times over viscosity Okay, so let's find out, ha? Okay? I have the formula. Now I memorized the formula. Reynolds number is equal to density times the length times the velocity, okay, over the viscosity. But the denominator viscosity is not specified whether it is kinematic, it is absolute or dynamic because the unit is not the same. Okay, now I have to prove what's really the unit of this uh, viscosity so that it will be cancelled because the Reynolds number has no unit at all. Let's investigate first whether it is kinematic, it is absolute or dynamic because my memory fails. <laughs> really, I think it's... Uh, wait, I think it's gonna be absolute. Okay, let's prove if it is viscosity. Okay, like that. 
Okay, but before that, we need to point out the units of absolute and dynamic viscosity. By the way, absolute and dynamic is just the same. They use that interchangeably, ha? Okay? Like that. So, uh, absolute na lang siya. Okay, absolute viscosity. Okay. Unit is uh, 1 centipoise is equals to 0 0.01 newton second square meter. Okay, and it's also equal to 0 0.01 okay, uh, kilogram meter times second. Or it's also equal to 0 0.001 pascal second. Oh, so the other one's pascal. Okay, it's a unit of pressure. Okay, so again, pascal. Pressure is equals to force F over area. So if force over area and the unit of force is Newton, uh, area is meter square. That means Newton per square meter is Pascal. It's going to be like that if you forgot to, to... You memorize that and then you forgot. And then just have the formula. By pressure is equals to force over area. Okay? So Newton per square meter. And you know that Newton is equal to kilogram meter per second squared. Then bingo. You can compute the Newton. The okay, Newton is a unit of a force. Okay, Pascal is a unit of a pressure. Something like that. And then, if one centipoise, we have also one poise. Actually, that's poise to uh, P-O-I-S-E, but pronounced as poise. One centipoise and one centipoise is just, is just equal. Centi meaning raised to the power negative two. Okay, just like uh, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter because that is centi raised to the power negative 2, then move to the right. Okay, two zeros. Centi is, uh, you know, use in algebra, um, micro, giga, okay, ganon. Okay, hexo, hexa, kilo, ganon, DC. So, centi is just also an example. Okay, so 1 centi quad, 1 poa or 1 poise is equals to, okay, now the poise is going to be like uh, 0 0.0, okay, like this, 0 0.01, the same unit, okay, 0 0.01, depending on the shock, it's a problem, okay. Okay, like that. So one point, one point is equal to point zero one. Okay, Newton second meter square, point zero one kilogram meter square, and Pascal second. Okay. Now, my goodness, if you give it a stroke, this is the unit of absolute and viscosity. If you give it a stroke, and then you can convert that through Pascal second, ha? Huh? Before you can obtain the point. Or so, point zero zero one, okay, square meter second negative, okay, is equals to one stroke, okay, like this. Now, if you give it, actually you can use the handbook, but sometimes it will take it will take time also where to get it, and then it will cost you time. Better na lang memorize and then remember the units and you can solve, you can prove something. Okay? Rather than uh, scanning like this, what table is this, what table is this, like that. Okay? Like that. To, to save time also. Okay? But it depends on you, ha? If you want really to scan your handbook or go it, okay? But in my case, I have to memorize to make it quicker. Okay? Like that. One stroke is equals to 0 0.001 square meter per second. So it's in there. This is common. So you can go to centipois, right? Like that. So stroke to centipois, stroke to poids, then you can obtain now. That is if the case the problem will give the if the uh, viscosity is in stroke. Because you cannot really show if it is a kinematic viscosity. Because the kinematic viscosity is the one who will be substituted in the momentum transfer, not the dynamic and absolute viscosity. That's why we need to 
to convert first, even though that is viscosity also. Okay, that's the point. And now in the Reynolds number, we need to determine this, this, uh, you know, this viscosity in the denominator because I forgot whether it is kinematic or, you know, absolute or dynamic. Okay, all I have to do is to substitute values na ko. Okay, density, kilogram, cubic. Actually, there are a lot of units of the density, ha? but we, not, we just use the metric system. Just uh, grams per ml, ganon, ganon. Okay, uh, grams per cc, okay, kilogram per cc, as long as it is uh, the mass over the volumetric flow rate. Oh, no, the, vol the volume only, not flow rate, because there's no time, right? Okay, sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay. density times the language in meter times the velocity meter per second. Okay, like this. Now, let's say if we treat this uh, viscosity as kinematic viscosity directly, ha? not the absolute or dynamic viscosity. So, I have to put this directly as square meter second negative, right? Then our sub uh, cancels out the common. Okay, if that is the case, okay, common, common, oh, and common. So this is equal to kilogram, uh, common, so this is N, second, and then this is N, two, like this, and I will put that at the top, that is S, okay. And then, like that, and then cancel, cancel, okay, and then like this, this one, and then I will put that to the top again, and negative two, cancel, cancel. That is kilogram meter, no, it's wrong. It's not the kinematic viscosity. Let's try the absolute and dynamic viscosity because when I substitute the units, it's not unitless. Okay, we lose numbers are unitless. We try the this one, the absolute viscosity, huh? Okay, absolute or dynamic viscosity we will try again. Density kilogram cubic meter times meter times velocity, which is meter per second. So, since this involves kilogram, so we'll use the kilogram meter second unit of the absolute and dynamic viscosity. So we have kilogram, okay, and second, and then cancels, cancels, okay, this one, so kilogram meter second, oh my gosh, and then over kilogram meter second. Oh! Okay. What will happen now? Okay, this is meter second. Then cancel, cancel. And this is one meter second. And then meter second. Okay, so kilogram meter second. Okay, like that. So, what we left is no unitless shaft. Okay? So, the viscosity here is the absolute and dynamic viscosity for the Reynolds number. So, if the problem solving will give you the kinematic viscosity, do not be bothered on that. Okay? Use the absolute and dynamic viscosity. Then, if because the I said earlier, the kinematic viscosity is square meters second negative. You convert that first to kilogram meter second. Gan lang siya. Okay, so that it will become an absolute and dynamic viscosity, so that we can obtain the Reynolds number. So in that way, you can determine the what type of flow is your flow it Could be laminar, laminar, sorry, turbulent or in the transition stage. Okay, above two, uh, less than 2,000 is the uh, Reynolds number, is the laminar. Above 4,000 
is the turbulent and in between to that values are the transition flow okay and 2100 uh, exact is the maximum laminar to be considered especially if you're asked to compute the velocity at a maximum level for laminar flow for example what is the velocity maximum at a laminar level so you will use 2100 directly wala lang keme keme so 2100 lang keme mamana maximum sa laminar flow okay so you can compute the maximum velocity average for that okay sometimes it will, it will never mention like that but use the 2100 directly without computation like this okay use directly the 2100 in your solution okay no need to get the viscosity density if the question will say like compute for the velocity gan ganon okay and then the diameter of this pipe what it went to if the Reynolds number is 2100 what is the maximum velocity of the flow so that means it's laminar because it's stated 2100 okay like that okay so that's why i told you it's gonna be logic analysis and memorization okay like that so it's gonna be cancels the units and this is the reynolds number so perfect that is absolute and dynamic viscosity okay in which equal to kinematic viscosity times density oh really yes <laughs> oh my gosh Ganon ha? So, klaro na siya for the uh, viscosity, for the trans uh, trans transport phenomena, specifically the momentum transfer. Any questions so far? Ganon. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this live stream. I hope you like this video and you can share it to anybody else if you want to. And then you can leave your thoughts in the comment section and you can subscribe also my YT channel if you are not yet subscribing. And then click the notification bell for some newest updates of I am a singer, eternal voice, all about occupational safety and health, science, health, personal vlogging and singing entertainment thank you so much for watching bye bye everybody god bless